हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल साई इकोनॉमिक्स पॉइंट इन टूडेज लेक्चर विल डिस्कस स्क्यर सिटी ओरिएंटेड डेफिनेशन दैट इज गिवन बाय रॉबिंस ओके सो लेट एस स्टार्ट प्रोफेसर लायनल रॉबिंस अनदर इंग्लिश इकोनॉमिस्ट इन हिज बुक नेचर एंड सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ इकोनॉमिक साइंस published in the year 1932 gave a more exact and precise definition of economics which is known as scarcity oriented definition okay according to robins economics is the science which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means which have alternative uses okay so let us discuss the robins definitions of economics so according to robins economics studies the problems which arises because of the scarcity of resources okay see nature has not provided the mankind to sufficient resources to satisfy all our wants right therefore what will we will do we have to choose okay for our unlimited wants because as you know resources are limited okay so within that limited resources we have to use in such a manner that we will derive maximum satisfaction okay so according to robins economics is the science of scarcity and it studies how scarce resources are allocated among their different uses okay so now we will discuss the features of robins definitions okay number 1 our wants are unlimited see in robins definition ends means okay unlimited wants which has no end okay then the next feature is the resources to satisfy these wants are limited then the next one is alternative use of resources okay then number 4 is wants can be classified in order of a importance then the next feature is economics is related to all kinds of activities which involve choice okay so let us discuss one by one okay number 1 our wants or ends are unlimited okay see according to robins definition is i have already told you ends means human wants which have no end that means wants are unlimited okay see the desire to have a commodity is called want right as there is no end to desire okay so there is no end of want in man's life okay so ends or wants are numerous okay and these are limitless and numberless okay when one want is satisfied another want immediately takes its place okay for example as a student you always want to score good marks in board exams okay once this want fulfilled then the want for a seat in a good college or universities arises right the moment for this want is satisfied he may feel the want for a secure job then a house okay then luxurious items etc right and this process goes on continuously this is no end right so as the want of a particular individual is unlimited as we have already discussed the want of a country and nation is also same that is unlimited it is numerous okay whether the country is developed or underdeveloped right so this multiplicity of wants leads to the problem of a choice right the second feature is scarce resources okay so as you know resources are limited what wants are unlimited okay if resources are unlimited like wants then no economic problem arises no problem arises are you getting my point okay then we will discuss what is resources okay so resource means anything which is scarce in nature okay so it may be natural productive resources like your water plants animals land okay iron ore gold oil trees okay oxygen 
ओके सो दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ नेचुरल प्रोडक्टिव रिसोर्सेस देन मैन मेड कैपिटल रिसोर्सेस ओके सो दीज आर द टूल्स मैशीन्स यूज टू मेक गुड्स ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल बिल्डिंग टूल्स ओके फैक्ट्रीज माइंस ओके सो दीज आर द कैपिटल रिसोर्सेस व्हिच लास्ट फॉर ए लॉन्ग टाइम देन ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेस एन अदर इम्पोर्टेंट रिसोर्सेस इज टाइम रिगार्डिंग माय पॉइंट टाइम इज आल्सो एन इम्पोर्टेंट रिसोर्सेस ओके व्हिच इज स्कर्स इन नेचर सी एज द रिसोर्सेस आर स्कर्स ऑल वांट्स कैन नॉट बी सेटिस्फाइड we cannot satisfy all our wants within that limited resources right therefore what we will do therefore we have to decide for the satisfaction of which want the resources should be used and which wants should be postponed okay so that it can be fulfilled later on are you getting my point okay See, at an individual level, you are facing many problems because of scarce resources, because you have limited income, because you have limited time. Okay, so it is also applicable for a nation. Okay, for an economy. Okay, as an individual, an economy has also numerous wants. Okay, a bundle of wants. Okay, for example. construction of roads railways building industries providing basic services like education health and housing to the people in a welfare state are you getting my point okay so due to this unlimited want and limited resources this will lead to the problem of a choice are you getting my point see In view of these fundamental facts, Robbins emphasized in his definition on the concept of a scarcity of resources. Okay, which builds the core of his definition of a economics. Okay, then we'll discuss the next feature that is that is alternative uses of a resources. Okay, see, as we have already discussed, okay, resources are limited. Okay, so for example, suppose I have three hundred rupees. ओके से विथ दैट आई कैन परचेज ए बुक और ए सर्ट और ए शोज ओके बट द प्रॉब्लम इज आई कैंट परचेज ऑल दिस गुड्स ओके थिंक वाई बिकॉज आई हैव ओनली थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज विथ दैट थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज आई कैंट परचेज ऑल दैट गुड्स दैट इज बुक ए सर्ट शोज ओके सो आई हैव टू मेक अ डिसीजन ओके दैट मीन्स डिसीजन व्हिच वन इज मोस्ट अर्जेंट एंड व्हिच वन इज लेस अर्जेंट ओके सो दिस डिसीजन इज नोन एज चॉइस आई हैव टू मेक ए चॉइस ओके व्हिच वन इज मोस्ट अर्जेंट एंड व्हिच वन इज ए लेस अर्जेंट ओके एन अदर एग्जाम्पल वी कैन टेक लैंड ओके सो लैंड कैन बी यूज फॉर ग्रोथ ऑफ वेजिटेबल्स ओके और इट कैन ऑल्सो बी यूज फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन पर्पोजेस ओके बट वी हैव टू डिसाइड ओके व्हाट टू डू राइट दैट मींस वी हैव टू चूज व्हिच वन टू सेटिस्फाई फर्स्ट एंड व्हिच वन टू सेटिस्फाई नेक्स्ट ओके लाइक एन इंडिविजुअल ए नेशन कैन पुट हर स्कर्स रिसोर्सेस इन टू डिफरेंट यूजेस आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट सो दिस इंडिकेट्स दैट ए नेशन हैज टू डिसाइड ओके whether to produce more of a consumer goods or more of a capital goods okay okay so this involves a problem of a choice right then the next important feature is the ends or wants can be graded in order of importance okay see all the wants are not of same importance right some wants are more urgent and essential in comparison to others right for example want for food want for medicine okay so this is more urgent okay then want for a movie want for to go on a picnic right so with our limited income we have to make a choice okay that means which want is to be satisfied first and which want should be postponed okay 
hence wants very in importance right and they can be graded in terms of priorities or you can say urgencies right so keeping in view the availability of resources okay wants are satisfied okay that is on the basis of their importance okay for example suppose a household has a limited money income that is 20000 per month okay see with that 20000 rupees he cannot fulfill all the wants of his family members okay because their wants are numerous and limitless okay for example want for basic necessities okay that is food clothing and shelter okay and there is also want for comforts wants for luxuries okay but the problem is guess it what is the problem see within that 20000 rupees do you think all the wants can be fulfilled with that limited resources that is within that 20000 rupees it is it possible okay see it is not possible okay therefore the family have to make a choice right that means the most urgent ones are to be satisfied first and the less important ones should be postponed right see this problem is also same for a society as a whole okay so a nation has to decide which one is most urgent and which one is less one are you getting my point okay so a nation has to decide how much it should spend on defense okay and how much it should spend on developmental work okay or should it produce more of a capital goods or more of a consumer goods okay so given its resources huh, a nation has to choose okay which goods should be produced first that means in order of a preferences in order of a priorities so that maximum satisfaction can be derived are you getting my point so this is known as making a choice that means problem of a choice are you getting my point from the above discussion it is clear that robbins had made economics more wide in scope and scientific in outlook okay so in spite of above contribution of robbins in the field of economics he is not free from criticisms okay so let us discuss on which grounds robbins was criticized okay number one Robin's definition makes economics a pure science. Okay, see, Robin's definition transforms the economics into a pure science, which has nothing to do with practice. Okay, he has not taken into account the social aspect of our economic activities. Okay, and uh, there is no human touch in his definition. Okay, but economics is a social science and is concerned with the study of economic activities of men in a society okay and economist cannot remain indifferent to ends ends means unlimited ones okay and they should not only analyze the economic problem of scarcity of women okay but also prescribe policies measures to solve these problems okay hence as a social science it should both be light bearing and fruit bearing okay then the next is abundance and economic problem okay according to robin's definition scarcity is considered as cause of a economic problem okay but it is a fact that even the abundance that means overproduction may create economic problem okay for example the great depression during the 30s okay in the usa and other western capitalist countries clearly proves this point that economic crisis economic problems arises not because of a scarcity but because of a surplus of a goods or you can say due to overproduction okay then the next one is robbins has ignored many modern economic problems okay see robbins definition is scarcity definition 
okay he talks of the allocation of scarce resources among competing ends that means months okay but he does not talk about how to distribute the national income employment regional development which are also essential features of economic study okay at present most economic study the problem of economic development okay in developing countries our main problem is how to overcome the problem of scarcity for speedy economic growth okay but in robbins definition it does not cover this important subject like economic growth and the development okay then the next point is static view okay so the definition given by robbins has taken an entirely static view of a scarcity problem as it deals with the adjustment of a given scarce resources with a given scarce ends okay. it does not encompass dynamism in its fold either in the means or in the ends so this is highly static view of a dynamic problem okay so this is all about scarcity definition that is given by robbins and the critical evaluation of a scarcity definition okay hope this video will be very helpful for preparing your board exam and for better understanding thank you have a good day